Hi, John McElroy here with Sandy Monroe. Hello again, Sandy. Yeah. We're at his shop right now. You may not be able to recognize us because obviously we've gone full COVID-19 safety wise. We've got the glasses, the masks, the gloves, the smock, but I had to run over to Sandy's shop right now. There's nobody else working here, but because he got his hands on a Tesla Model Y, I just had to come over and see what you think about it. <laughs> and Sandy, when I first came over here a couple of years ago when you got the Model 3, you weren't so keen on the fit and finish of the car. Where does Tesla stand right now with this one? And, and to begin with, exactly which model of yeah. the Model Y is this? So we have the dual motor, and uh, the, the dual motor is probably going to be the most common. We didn't get the high performance. The, uh, the fit and finish is much, much better than what they had before, but there's still some flaws. Let me show you. And, and explain these little yellow dots that you've put around the car. <laughs> well, well, what are they all about? Well, that's how we determine whether or not there are flaws. So this so, is exactly where you measure the gaps? Yeah, so this is a gap gauge, and this is what we use to, uh, to check the whole car. And what we found was that um, here on the front, uh, or sorry, on the hood, um, we were running gaps that were uh, basically um, in the in the front from one to three and a half and three and a half to four and a half. So those, if they would have been all the same, I, I would have been delighted. And but when you say one to one and a half, three, three and a half, what you're saying is there's it, probably it a gap. We, yeah, we just put the gap gauge in, we measure where it says, and then we put the, the number down, and then we uh, look from left to right. So you want each side to be exactly right. the same, and what you're finding right. is variation from That's one correct. side to the other. But the good news is the, uh, the doors are, are great. And this is what people see. So um, this, is, uh, a, this is a good job. They did a good job here. And of course, doors are, are hard to get right. They know? are. And yeah. it, but if you get them right, no wind noise, no rain That's breaks. Correct. That's correct. The only problem was uh, when they got down to the sill, then they started seeing uh, gaps that were uh, uh, one millimeter out. I, I, I can't really throw too many rocks at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the rear of the car. Rear of the car, um, this is where the, the biggest gaps were uh, so, uh, all the way around. So normally uh, we would like to see uh, left to right the same, but unfortunately on here we're looking at one and a half to one, ga uh, one millimeter gaps that are differential. And then the, the biggest one was the tail lamp to the body at the lift gate, so right. yeah. And that one there is out the most. Yeah. So three and a half on one side and six on the other. Yeah, I, I, I can barely stick my fingers right. in on yeah. this side. But there is one thing back here, Sandy, that you like a lot. Absolutely, I love this flat floor. I think that there's gonna be a ton of people that are gonna love the fact that they can take something that's really heavy and shove it in. I'm thinking there's, like two yeah, cases of beer. Yeah, there's no big beer. lip right here. You can just, <laughs> how many cases of beer? <laughs> two cases of beer, uh, I mean, you can slide that in perfectly. Come on, yeah. you can do better than two cases. <laughs> I'm older now. <laughs> I don't wanna drop anything. Yeah. In the back here, what I, I notice is a lot of good room, at least for somebody my size, plenty of knee room, excellent headroom. And something that I always measure too is thigh support. You know, in a lot of cars, you're sitting on your tailbone on a long trip that can get to be too much, but this gives decent thigh support. So the other thing that I, uh, I, I've heard about, but we haven't really checked out where it is, is there's a, there is a mechanical uh, release, which is something I complained about. On the Model 3. On the Model, on the Model 3 I complained about, but on the Model Y it's supposed to be here, but I'll be damned if I can find it. We only looked for like a couple of minutes, but uh, it's, it's not intuitively obvious. And uh, when I jump inside the front here, it really reminds me of the Model 3. In fact, it looks like everything's just about completely carryover from the 3. I would say it is. I, I did not see anything that was different. I, I, and I'm glad because I like the nice clean lines in the 3. Yeah. I like the styling uh, on this car even better than the 3. But, uh, but the, problem, uh, the problems that, uh, that most car companies have is they don't want to have everything identical well i don't see any wrong i don't see a problem with this i think that uh, model three owners will uh, instantly jump into this and be happy as a clam so yeah. so anyway let's uh let's go around to the front and i'll show you one other thing that i think is a, a bit of an issue and then uh and then maybe you might like to take it for a ride so i want you to take your hand here and just put it on the hood and just feel what you feel yeah, I, I feel, it feels like there's dirt, a little yeah. bit of dirt. I mean, not, not, 
Very little. It, it's hard well, to find, but I we do found feel it. it. Unfortunately, we found it all over the place. And so, unfortunately, even though this paint job looks wonderful, um, this is not up to the standard that, uh, that we would be looking for in a car like this. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but the proof of any car is in the driving. So right. can I take it around the building? Yes, you can. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I was sure you would say yes. <laughs> Well, my first impressions is right off the bat, this car is very stiffly sprung. And I imagine part of that's got to do with the weight of the battery pack. You really got to put stiff springs on this. I'll bet this thing handles extremely well. Now, I told Sandy I was going to take it around the building. I'm going to take it out on the street a bit because number one, there's no traffic. And number two, I just got to punch it. Yeah, nice acceleration. Not like you get with the performance model but still very, very decent for a vehicle this class, this size. And uh, now I will take it right back in the round building, but first impressions are that feels a little bit bulkier and a little bit heavier than the Model 3, but that's to be expected. This is a slightly bigger, slightly bulkier vehicle. But man, I can't wait to get a chance to drive this really out on the open road and see what it'll do. But I gotta be so grateful to Monroe and Associates just giving me this little chance to get a taste of it. So Sean, hey, what did you think? Well, thanks for letting me take it out. You know, not much of a test drive, but at least I got a chance to get into Model Y, and I'm real pleased about that. Yeah, hopefully you got your foot into the accelerator. I was very yeah. pleased with the, uh, with the acceleration and the handling. Yeah. Hey, we've talked all about the fit and finish, the old kind of stuff. Obviously, you're going to be ripping into this car. Right. What are the main things that you really hope to learn once you start tearing it apart? Well, um, our, our prime focus is going to be on uh, what we call now the big three or the big four coming up. So that would be the, the motors, the batteries, the electronics. And there's a, there's a fourth one now, and that's the wiring harnesses. So I want to find out how they got rid of so much wire. And then there's a, another little doodad here, the heat pump. We want to see what that's like. We're, we're going to miss the, uh, the super bottle, but this is a good deal, too. As you rip this all apart, are you going to help the public stay abreast, abreast of what you're doing there? Will you be posting anything about this? Yeah, we've got a daily post, actually. Uh, it's called Monroe Live. It's on, it's on right now. You can, you can get to. Um, and it, Monroe is spelled M-U-N-R-O, so MonroeLive.com. And if you tune in, we'll be showing you stuff pretty much every day. Anything we come across, we'll be popping it up there. So we're inviting the general public to uh, come down, have a look, and see what we find. Fantastic. Well, I'll be one of the people watching all those updates. And when you get the whole thing together, you got to come back on AutoLine After yeah. Hours. We'll do a whole show about it. Great. That sounds good. Real good. Thanks, Andy. Okay. Thank you.